when a child has a tracheostomy in place, it is sometimes necessary to use a, a fine, flexible, soft suction catheter to pass down the tracheostomy to clear out any secretions or debris that may block the tracheostomy. Public Health England have focused on suctioning tracheostomies as, as an issue because of concern that during suctioning, aerosol and droplet spread may be generated. And if the child had COVID, then this could put people close by at risk. Public Health England's current guidance is that aerosol PPE is required and the child needs to be isolated in a separate room while this is being carried out. Children are not being allowed into school because schools uh, can't comply with this guidance. It clearly has a significant effect, not only for children, but for parents as well. The Public Health England advice, it's really important to recognise, is not based on robust science. When you suction a tracheostomy, you actually generate significantly less aerosol and less droplet spread than a child who's coughing. What we think is a reasonable way of looking after these children based on what we know about droplet spread is for those children not to be isolated while they're having suction and for carers to simply wear standard droplet PPE. By wearing a device known as a trach foam, which you can put on a tracheostomy and, and suction through it, it can significantly reduce the amount of aerosol spread while suctioning.